there is only so much you can worry about. You can only mm. do your job and until they're dropped off. Yeah. What happens with them, whether they do a bouquet toss or something, you can't really change. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's making them last. But if you do training and you know how to condition them, then they, they will last. Um, yeah. You know, longer, a lot longer than people would expect, actually. That's yeah, yeah, normally yeah. the feedback I get. They last longer than we thought. Because it's not just, oh, I've created a couple of no. daisies. <laughs> yeah, so sometimes people think that you just make a couple of yeah. bouquets on a Saturday morning. No, yeah. it's ordering. You need to know what you're ordering. You need to know how the flower markets work. You obviously need to have uh, knowledge of how to put things together, how to care for the flowers, how to deliver them. That's something that's really hard transporting, mm. something that's pre-made to the venue in top yeah. quality condition. Um, yeah, and making it last as well. I remember when, um, so I had, I ended up with a brooch bouquet for my wedding, my <laughs> second wedding. My first wedding though, I had this massive like lilies and everything. It was just the fact that you could hold it and it held together, which sounds quite simple, but to have something that people aren't gonna, it's just gonna be put down, picked up, moved here and there. It's gotta be built to last and yeah i think sometimes people just go oh we've scooped a load of flowers up here you go <laughs> yeah and that's the hard thing there's only so much you can do until mm. you've delivered on the day so you can give them advice of how to look after them how to care for them but 